of mm -hmm. Halloween being right around the corner. Kara's got some all good spooky stories. Ooh, you teed it up just right because we're learning a little bit about history of Halloween today. It's not necessarily all good, but it's all good things you need to know about Halloween. And we're going to start off with a spooky part of Halloween, a vampire. Mm. Okay, now mm -hmm. I found this story very interesting because it actually roots back vampires to the 1700s and the 1830s. Vampires started becoming mainstream, as they say. Okay, then a gentleman wrote a Ew. book, William Podori, called The Vampire. Now, we probably know Vampire. There, we look at them oh. right there, Tom Cruise. You know, I never it. saw it. Bram Stoker's Dracula, and then what you just saw was Interview with the Vampire in 1994, The Lost Boys, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Twilight, there have been many times vampires have been portrayed to us in books, TV, and on screen. Okay, so a vampire, did you know this, identifies as somebody who likes blood, drinks blood, mm. and takes energy from the living. Now, I do remember that from, from some of the shows I've seen, okay. yes. 2015, there was a survey in all of the United States of America. Would you like to know how many people identify as a vampire? Oh, yes. Kara. Uh, <laughs> it's a real survey. Five percent. Oh, <laughs> Manny. You give me like a number. Oh, Manny, you do. I thought she, she went like that, and I'm like, five? Yes. You're giving me a hint? Five, ten per, five percent. I'm okay, five percent. well, 5,000 people. Oh, okay. In the United States, identify as vampires. So, <laughs> just be careful on be Halloween careful, night. Guys. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Yeah, 